Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Granth. We are going to uh, publish a course on graph data structure and we are going to cover a variety of algorithms that is related to graph. So before starting the course, I just wanted to just to publish an overview of the course so that uh, if any one of you want something extra or if you want to be this to be structured in a little different way, you can put it in the comment section and we can see how we can incorporate that. So basically this course will be divided into five modules and these modules will be introduction to graph, how you search in a graph, how you find the shortest path, how you find a minimum spanning tree of the graph and strongly connected components of the graph. So this whole course will be divided into these five modules. Each module will have one topic or multiple topic based on the modules and uh, we will publish the video. Uh, based on how much we can cover in like one video we don't want to make a very long video otherwise uh, the topic can become little heavy to understand so this is how we have planned it out so first video that we'll publish it will be on introduction to graph so this will be just one video which will cover the these three topics so these three topics are very simple graph overview the representation of graph like how you will represent it in your programming language whether you use adjacency list or matrix what are the benefits of each of them and what is the time complexity and space complexity of these two way of representation so first video will cover these three topic and which will be our introduction to the graph next module will be covered in like multiple videos and this is basically how you search in a graph so this has three topic which is bfs dfs and cycle detection so first video will be on BFS which is your breadth first search and in this we will cover how you do BFS in a graph and what is the application of BFS in a graph, what are the type of problem that you solve when you do or what are the type of problem that you encounter and where you can use BFS. Same thing will be covered for DFS and also for cycle detection in a graph. So in a cycle detection we will uh, discuss more about like uh, where this kind of logic can be implemented to solve what kind of problem uh, and uh, yeah that's it now next module will be finding your shortest path so as part of the shortest path we'll cover three algorithm first will be topological sorting it's basically topological sorting or you can say ordering and uh, this will help you in finding the shortest path in a directed graph <coughs> Next will be Dijkstra's algorithm and Bellman Ford algorithm. So these three will be covered as part of finding shortest path. For minimum spanning tree, we'll cover Kruskal's algorithm. This will include the union find set method. So here we will implement uh, in Java the union find data structure and then apply Kruskal's algorithm on top of that. And finally, we'll have Prim's algorithm for minimum spanning tree. So under this module, we'll cover these two algorithm and both will have its own separate video so we'll be having two video for minimum spanning tree and for strongly connected component there is just one algorithm that we'll cover which is kosaraju's algorithm uh, if we have time we can basically explore uh, one more algorithm which is there for strongly connected component uh, otherwise we'll stick to just kosaraju's algorithm and after all these topics are covered then we'll focus on problem solving so i will be covering uh, the problems either from geeks for geeks or from lead code and i'll try to solve it and uh, basically explain how we can implement each of the algorithm that we have studied as part of all these topics so i will handpick few problem related to each of the topic and uh, most probably I will try to pick up the problem which are most frequently asked in interview problems, interview scenarios. So yeah, we will cover those. So I will try to solve at least a couple of problems for each algorithm. And at the end of it, we will also solve few more generic graph problems which can involve like multiple algorithm or the problems which are most commonly asked in interview. So this is the plan for the graph course. Do let me know in the comment section uh, if you want me to include something more or if you want me to structure it like in a different way rather than the module that I have selected. So we'll see how we can incorporate that. 
so that is it for this video this was just an overview so we'll start with the introduction to graph in the next video do like share and subscribe thank you for watching tech Dent.